The second largest economy in the world is having difficulty picking up steam following years of COVID-19 lockdowns. Apart from China's real estate meltdown battering middle class wealth, now there is also the growing threat of unemployment. Take a look at this next report for more. The slump in Chinese real estate and stock markets are wiping away household wealth. UBS in its August Global Wealth Report said the net worth per adult in China slid 2.2 percent to $75,731 in 2022. The report showed total assets per adult fell for the first time since 2000 as non-financial holdings shrank due to the housing market crisis. Middle-class households are currently being compelled to reconsider their financial priorities. Some are giving up on investing or selling assets to get cash. Stock investments and salary packages are down by about 30 percent. Property investments has fallen by around 20 percent. Bloomberg Economics estimates that every five-person decrease in property prices will result in the loss of 19 trillion yuan in household wealth. That's about $2.7 trillion. China's financial data shows only a slight decline in current home prices. However, evidence from real estate brokers and private data suppliers show at least 15% fall in the country's most desirable neighborhoods. According to Bloomberg, the value of China's housing industry is likely to fall from roughly 20% of GDP today to about 16% of GDP by 2026. This would increase the chance of unemployment or lower incomes for around 5 million individuals, or 1% of the urban workforce. Financial investments offer little relief. Chinese stocks have lagged their counterparts in developing markets by the largest margin since at least 1998. Mutual funds are also losing money. The $2.9 trillion trust in industry is beginning to show signs of weakness with the latest shadow bank controversy, possibly involving tens of billions of dollars in damages. Previously, affluent Chinese investors have sought high returns from products marketed by loosely regulated shadow banks. But now even high net worth individuals are turning more conservative. Be report, we on World is One.